My name is Henri Afandi. I am a multidisciplinary artist based between Jakarta and London. So my practice revolves around colonialism and anti-imperialism, particularly about Indonesia and indigenous struggles. This work in particular is called Ibu Pertiwi. Ibu Pertiwi is about Indonesian imperialism, basically, about how, as a state, Indonesia is colonizing a lot of these places, a lot of these indigenous communities. The dress represents the communities they appropriate uh, by means of the aesthetics, the culture, meanwhile ignoring the fact that these people are in dire need of help from the government itself. So, um, yeah, it's just the idea about how the government only takes what they want and ignore the plight of its people. And it goes back to the screen prints in the background, how um, the one behind me over here, it's, um, it's a forest in Kalimantan which has been deforested, uh, cut down uh, to make way for palm oil plantations. And then over there, that's the holy mountain of Amungme. It's in West Papua and it's been destroyed for, to make way for Freeport gold mine. The last screen print over there represents the rice terrace in Bali. So all of these imageries, they share the same visual language, but at the same time, they don't have um, the same meaning behind them. And it really shows how like human exploitation for the sake of capitalism and for the sake of greed versus one that is out of like stewardship, out of care, out of indigenous um, communi communal life basically. And that's when uh, my performance comes in. On regular days, I, uh, people are allowed to walk on the sand. They are allowed to displace, to kick around. Uh, and the idea is how like, as normal individuals were allowed, we sometimes destroy the land without even understanding what we did and at the end of the day uh, there is there will be someone who are looking after the land uh, for us and these people a lot of them are like indigenous communities who have the responsibility to look after the land and yeah I think just like the conversation around that and the response kind of differs between people from people and I think that's part of the work itself. The dress itself is kind of like multi-layered. This was made in collaboration with Natania Sulistio and she's a fantastic uh, fashion designer. The idea behind this dress itself is about how all of these fabrics has been sourced from different indigenous communities around Indonesia, from Java, from Kalimantan, from uh, Sulawesi, from Papua. It's also kind of like talking about how the batik itself is a form of colonialism. It's a form of cultural erasure because how a lot of these cultures don't really do batik at first, but they're being forced to do it now. As you can see with this dress, the upper part is mostly like very Java-centric, but the more you reach towards the bottom, the more external cultures, I suppose, non-Javanese cultures are being introduced into the dress itself and being appropriated. And yeah, as you can see on the floor, there are a lot of like non-Javanese cultures and non-Javanese fabrics that are being spilled and being placed on the floor. And it's like the idea of how it's being stepped on and it's being sewn together very quickly, very randomly, as if to say like, you're part of me now without even thinking how it's being incorporated in a very meaningful way. There's also this sort of like woven handbag in the back and it represents how all of these cultures are being shoved in the back and being put in the backpack and just like the hoarding culture, the hoarding of culture, uh, in a matter of speaking. I think the idea of making the dress itself comes like two years before I actually do the work, but I, it's like I shelved the idea for quite some time until I actually run into this documentary by Gecko Project in Monga Bay. It's called um, Our Mother's Land. It's on YouTube, so everyone can see it, but basically, it speaks of the Kartini of Kundam and how part of the story is about them and about how they are fighting for you know, indigenous freedom and about 
fighting against all these corporations who are destroying their land and they're looking after their own environment and their own family basically and yeah that's the entire thing and in my practice it's all about amplifying the voices of indigenous communities yeah that's what I'm trying to do hardest part oh difficult can't really say because like everything is equally easy or equally difficult it's just a matter of the faces of where I when I did it and I would say the most challenge that I face would be making the dress itself as in the sewing because that's a new skill that I've just acquired recently and with me being in London at the time doing this for my final project uh, for uni uh, Natania wasn't available for me to kind of like ask to help sew and stuff like that so um, she's doing it like she usually do it for me but now that she's not around I have to do it myself so that was difficult but you know what all good uh, managed to make it and yeah thank you so much for having me peace <laughs>